Hey guys, this is Solrack333 with another custom review. And here I have my uh, Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Sideswipe. And uh, this one is more of a touch up than anything. Uh, I wanted to do a full uh, repaint, but I really like the color scheme and the paint on this figure. So. You know, I just figure I'd do a touch-up rather than full repaint. I really like the red on this. I really like the alt mode uh, and the robot mode. Uh, there's only one thing that I really do not like about this, and I'll touch on that later. But as for the figure, here's his uh, weapon. You can tab it on the side or on the top. Um, for now, I'll just set it aside rolls very nicely and I just gave him you know a little light brushing of uh, black just to dirty him up a little bit and then another very light brushing of uh, testers acrylic silver uh, just to make it more uh, like dirty and battle damaged uh, and, and and that's all I did. I didn't I didn't actually scratch it or anything. I just it's all paint, black, and then a uh, little bit of silver dry brushing, and uh, that's it. Uh, transform him. Just move these down. Get the panels out of the way, and then unfold the legs. Bring down the feet, tab these in, separate the legs. You want to separate the legs this way as opposed to out like that. Rotate the waist 180. Bring out the arms. Then I can fold these inward, bring out the fists, unfold at the elbows, unfold the waist from under the hood, and the whole thing just collapses down, revealing the head. And here is Sideswipe in his robot mode. And I really like the robot mode. Um, very cool. Um, you can see I dirtied him up some more. And as for the gun, these two separate. And this square or rectangular peg Pegs into the shoulder, either side, and then you can hold this weapon. And uh, yeah, I really like this guy. Has good articulation. Soldier, uh, the shoulder goes all the way around. Bicep swivel, uh, elbow joint. Uh, the wrist can only go in and out for transformation. Heads on a ball joint waist swivel, hinge, hips, and knee bend, 90 degrees, and ankle tilt. And here's a before and after. And I really like this. My only gripe is how much smaller deluxes are are now and how much more expensive. So I mean that's again that's why my customizing and collecting has slowed down by a lot. This is a $10 figure uh, some years ago. 
this is a $20 figures today. So, yeah. I was at least hoping that this figure would be the same size as this, but nope, that's not the case. Um, I mean, if you're a big Transformers fan, I guess you'll still collect these. Um, I am, but I do have my limits. Uh, 20 bucks is a lot for this figure for me, so yeah, I won't be getting too many of these. Um, but this guy does look cool. Um, I like the weathering and battle damage I gave him with the black and silver. Just touch ups. And this guy will be on eBay real soon. Thanks for watching.